Fabulous. You're looking fantastic. Thank you. Sharp as a tack. Do you two know each other? No. No. But I'm a huge fan. Huge fan. You. You've got the most wonderful voice. Oh, bless you. Thank you so much. No, no. Oh, this and, could be unbearable. And by the way, I'm just, I'm, I'm with an amazing person today because I know David is very, very smart. No, so I'm not. It, it's helpful. <laughs> Do you know, this couldn't be more different from Adrian Child. <laughs> so tonight, as well as playing for one of you at home, Alexandra and David are hoping to win tons of cash for their chosen charities. Now, Alexandra is playing for Breast Cancer Care who support anyone affected by this disease. And David is playing for Macmillan Cancer Support, a terrific charity who provide practical medical and financial support for better cancer care. They have their lifelines, they have all three lifelines after the first two questions. They have just 15 seconds. <coughs> right, guys, fingers crossed, lots of luck. Let's play, who wants to be a millionaire? Okay, question number one is for £500. I'll read the question, then I start the clock. You'll have just 15 seconds. Here it comes. An important or influential person is sometimes referred to as a big what? Start the clock. Big. Custard, yoghurt, egg, big cheese. Oh. Cheese. Big cheese. Cheese. Yeah, cheese. D. Cheese. cheese. Final answer. <laughs> you look at ever so worried. <laughs> it's the right answer. You've got £500. Yay! Well done. I was like, what? Well done. <laughs> OK, question number two. You could guarantee having at least £1,000 here. You have all three lifelines. Use them if you have to. It's question number two. Here it comes. Which of these national institutions was sold off last October? Start the clock. Royal Navy, Royal Mail, Royal Wedding, Royal Family. I think it's no. Well, it's not Royal Wedding. It's not no, Royal Navy. No, not Royal, no. Royal, Royal Mail. B, Royal Mail, final answer. It's the right answer. Of course it is. You have £1,000. <laughs> So, we're expecting great things from you two. Question number three is for £2,000. You have all three lifelines. At the moment, that's a guaranteed £1,000. For the next five questions, Alexandra and David will have 30 seconds. Question number three is this. Which famous comedy act with a combined age of 358 years is making a stage comeback? Yes. Start the clock, 30 seconds. Monty Python, Keystone Cops, Laurel and Hardy, the Marx Brothers. I'm going to stop you whispering, you two. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, um, it, well, it's not Monty Python, obviously. No. Right. Keystone Cops is, is early. I think we're before the marks. You've only got ten seconds, guys. Let's ask the audience. Ask the audience. Could we ask the audience? Yes, you can. Right, stop the clock. There's seven seconds left, so after the audience votes, I'll restart the clock. You will only have seven seconds. You could use a 50-50. You could find a friend. Right, audience, on your keypads, please. This is for £2,000. Uh, here's the question. Which famous comedy act with a combined age of 358 years is making a stage comeback. I think you'll know this. A on your keypads is Monty Python. B is Keystone Cops. C is Laurel and Hardy. D is the Marx Brothers. A, B, C or D, all vote now. Eighty-nine percent are saying Python. Three percent are saying Keystone Cops. Five percent think Laurel and Hardy are reforming. <laughs> and three percent are looking forward to the reforming of the Marx yeah. Brothers. It's a worry some nights, isn't it? Right, restart the clock. You've only got seven seconds. What are you going to do? Trusting the audience. Yeah, trust the audience. Final answer. Final well, answer A. Yeah. I wouldn't trust some of them. Um, <laughs> it's the right answer. You have two thousand pounds. Yeah. Oh, that's all we have time for this evening. We're pausing with these two on £2,000. They still have two lifelines, and they will, of course, be back next week to see how much further they can go. Big thank you to all our guests tonight, great guests, to Gloria, to Russell, to Frank and Adrian, and at this moment to Alexandra and David. They'll be back next week. Join us again next Tuesday with them at 8pm. We'll also be joined by Jimmy Nesbitt, Dom Jolly, Sir Chris Hoy and Kevin Bridges. Make sure you tune in. It will be a very special show for me, as I'll have contestants in that hot seat for the very last time. Don't forget, though, you could still be in with a chance of getting your hands on all all that lovely money in the prize pot so far, plus half of everything won in next week's grand finale. Here are those details again. Good night. 
If someone appears extremely attractive, they're said to look like a million what? A. Euros B. Dollars C. Pesos D. Rupees Call 0904 161933 Calls cost no more than £1.54 from BT Landlines Other networks may be higher and mobiles considerably more Or text your answer A, B, C or D to 6557 Text cost £1.50 plus one standard network rate message Or there's free entry at the website Entrance must be 18 or over. Entries made after lines close at 10 a.m. on Friday, the 14th of February, will not be counted, but may still be charged. Good luck! It's the final part of Paul O'Grady's tour in Africa as he meets the creatures most in need. Coming up next on ITV, it's Animal Orphans. Lizzie said that made you realize. Goodbye, it's the last you hear of me. Brand new Midsummer Murders, Wednesday at 8 on ITV. As Haley's funeral approaches, Roy has some difficult decisions to make and Fizz begins to think her death wasn't all it appeared. Coronation Street returns at 7.30 tomorrow here on ITV. Now though, for the final time, we're in Africa for Paul O'Grady's Animal Orphans. <laughs> 